your big, and this is the big part of your BPI work, this is going to be like your biggest project that you'll do. So you are going to do a STEAM project, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But what you're going to be doing is you're solving a real-world problem. So some examples of real-world problems you could choose could be how can we find homes for all the dogs and cats in shelters? How can we make sure everyone has enough food? How can we create clean water? How can we stop an animal from going extinct? So you could choose an animal that's on the endangered animals list. Um how can we create buildings that an earthquake won't destroy? So there are more on that list. You can read through them or you can come up with your own real world problem. So what, what we're looking at is we're looking at STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And what your project is doing is you are using one or more of the components of STEAM to solve your real world problem. And then you're gonna come up with a way to present your solution to myself and to your classmates. So your presentation can be a video of you explaining your solution. It can be, you can build, um, you can engineer a model for a device that you would use to stop that problem. You can, uh, and explain how it works. It can be a picture of a poster board that you've made explaining your problem and how you've solved it. You can make a slideshow detailing the problem. What is the problem? Why does it need to be fixed? And here's how I'm going to solve it. You can create a brochure to tell people how you're going to solve it or something else that you choose. The project, it's going to require some time. Um, it should take, you know, you have, uh, by the time you do your goal setting and your letter writing, you have at least an entire week to do this. So it is, um, it should not be, just a sentence or two written on a piece of paper. It's going to hit many of your BPI indicators. This is your big project. So take your time, try your best. And um, what we will do is I will start and um, once you'll submit your work to me. So you'll submit your picture to me. You'll submit your video to me. Whatever your project is, whatever your end result where you say, this is the problem I'm solving. This is how I've, this is what I've built to solve it. This is the, the detailed plan I've created. However you're going to solve it, you'll send that to me and then I will start posting them on PLP so you can go through and watch your classmates. That's going to help you. And um, one of our big BPI indicators is communication. You need to be able to communicate with people. You need to be able to explain your ideas and with the way everything's working and with virtual learning, that makes it difficult. So you will be recording yourself or doing um, a written communication, and we'll post that so you can go look at other um, classmates' work, and that'll be how we will make sure that communication is being had. So for your project, you are determining a real-world problem that interests you, one that you think you could come up with the solution to, and... Um, you are going to use STEAM. You're probably going to use more than one. Um, you're probably not just going to engineer something. You might think about new technology that you could build. Your art, you might draw out what it's going to look like, or you might make a model um, of the, the device you create to solve a problem. So you're going to use your, your elements of STEAM, and you're going to come up with a way. You're going to figure out a solution to solve one of these problems, and you're going to figure out how to present. What is your problem? Why is it something we should care about? So what? Why do I care if every time you go into the chicken coop to collect eggs, you get pecked and you want to solve that problem? Why should we care? And then how are you going to solve it? So when you're finished with it, as you finish it, and you might finish it early in the week, that's fine. Send it to me and I will post those on PLP so that you can go back and see what problems did your classmates try and solve and how did they do that? Um, if you have any questions, just send it to me. There's really not a right or wrong answer. Um, however you think you can solve a problem is how you'll do it. So if whatever you think is the best solution to the problem you choose. Now my computer's not going to want to work.